AMD's board partner, PowerColor, just leaked their upcoming RX 7800 XT graphics card. PowerColor published a product page for the RX 7800 XT Red Devil GPU, confirming the specifications and design of this yet-to-be-revealed graphics card. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the RX 7800 XT's specifications, performance, price, and release date. So let's start with the specifications. The RX 7800 XT has 3840 shader cores, 60 compute units, a 256-bit memory bus, 16GB of GDDR6 18GB per second memory and a total bandwidth of 576GB per second. There are no official power supply requirements for this GPU, but PowerColor recommends having an 800W power supply with this RX 7800 XT Red Devil model, and the power is delivered by two 8-pin power connectors on the side of the graphics card, as shown in this picture. Something we noticed is that for AMD's own RX 7900 XT graphics card, an 800 watt power supply is recommended for optimal performance. This means that PowerColor overclocked and boosted this RX 7800 XT model by quite a lot, which is expected when looking at GPUs from board partners. PowerColor also implemented a silent or performance switch. The silent mode is more silent, power efficient, and produces less heat. The performance mode, on the other hand, provides a fraction more performance, is noisier and produces more heat. So in my opinion, it is better to have the silent mode and lose a few percentages of performance for a more silent and power-efficient graphics card. Something that I think most of you would like to know is how the RX 7800 XT would theoretically perform against the last-generation RX 6800 XT. But sadly, we do not think that there will even be a generational uplift something we were all hoping for. At best, the RX 7800 XT could match or be a few percentages faster than the RX 6800 XT in performance, and at worst will be a few percentages slower than it, according to Igor's lab. The only thing that AMD could do to market this is by selling it at a lower price and lower power consumption. I think that this GPU should have been named the RX 7700 XT because of its weak performance and expectations. Though this graphics card should come in at $550 to $600 if AMD is not greedy, compared to the $649 price point of the RX 6800 XT, which is already taken by the new RX 7900 GRE. As for the release date, AMD has not confirmed any date just yet, but it could be revealed at Gamecom later this month, and be released in late September but I am not so excited about any new GPU releases from this generation, so I think that we should keep a hold of our money, since the next generation of graphics cards will likely be much better than this one, but only time will tell. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.